happy people welcome back to nail therapy Thursday if you all would like to see how I got this beautiful nail design it's white nails with orange iridescent stars I'm using dip powders with gel liquids definitely stick around for this awesome tutorial hello happy people I'm back with another video and today I wanted to do a video practicing some nail art there's a design that I want to try on my uh, natural nails after I take this set off and I just kind of want to play around with it a little bit to see how it's going to look. And so instead of practicing on myself, I figured I'd practice on one of these little fingers here. So yeah, I'm going to just hop right on into this. Um, it's going to be pretty simple. Um, I, my next set I want to do, I want to do all white nails. And then these two nails, I want to put some stars on them. Um, I did feature this in a previous video, um, but these are some, um, what are these? Just kind of like... Uh, confetti type uh, designs that I got that I could put that I got particularly for nail art and so I wanted to put in particular stars on it haven't chosen which color yet um, I actually just did my toes in neon orange so maybe I will do um, orange stars on here or maybe I'll make them pink I'm not sure yet um, they got a lot of cool options here so yeah I want to just kind of play around with these designs so um, I'm gonna just do it with uh, dip powder I have here uh, some Beatles dip powders that I recently hauled. Um, if I haven't already posted the video, I am going to link it down in the card so you all can kind of get my impressions on this kit that I bought. It was a really good deal. It came with 12 different powders, 12 different powders for $6.99. And I have a clear and the white that came in that particular set. I'm only going to be using the uh, white. The clear is for if I was doing it on my actual nails. And then I'm going to keep it all in one family. So I also have the Beatles uh, base coat and gel top coat. Um, so these are the three products I'll be using to make this design. And so I'm going to go ahead and just get started here. I have the base and I'm going to just apply it to the full nail. Okay. Now if you were applying this to your natural nail, you'd want to make sure you didn't get too close to the cuticle. Um, but since I just have a fake nail here, um, I am going to kind of just get all the way on the edge there. So yeah, I'm going to paint the full nail. And then I'm going to pour the powder over it. And I have my cupcake liner here just to make sure the powder doesn't get everywhere. So I'm going to just pour the powder over the nail. And then uh, cure it for 60 seconds. So if you was doing this on your natural nail, you do the exact same technique. You put the base powder on and pour the powder over your nail, like so. And then just tap off any excess powder and then cure it for 60 seconds. That's the nail. Here's my lamp. I'm gonna just cure it for 60 seconds here. So now that that's been cured for 60 seconds, I just tap it just to make sure, yep. Powder's all nice and hard. And I'm just gonna wipe off the excess powder here, like so. Okay. And then what I'll do is I'm gonna go in with my next coat of my base, like so. Seems like the tape I applied isn't so great. I need to get some sticky tack, but I haven't had a chance to get to the store and get it yet, so. Next time I go to the store, I'll make sure I grab that because it seems like the tape wants to fall off. Okay, second layer of base is all applied. So I'm gonna go ahead and dip. Well, pour over, do the pour over method here. So I'm just pouring it over like so. Lovely. And once you feel like you got the note the, the nail coated very well just want to tap off the excess like so and then again I'm going to just uh, cure the nail for 60 seconds underneath my lamp okay so those two coats look pretty good I'm just going to wipe off the excess here and I'm also just going to go ahead and press the nail down at this point it feels like a nice smooth surface so once you dust off the second coat you're going to go ahead and go in with the third coat of, of white. I think two is fine, but I just want to go in 
with one more coat just for the opacity. So I'm gonna apply a nice even layer here to my little practice hand. Okay. Perfect. And then I'm gonna go in and go ahead and do the pour over method, like so. And again, when you're doing this on your natural hand, you'll kind of rotate your hand from side to side just to make sure you're getting the corners and all that good stuff, like so. Yeah, the coverage is looking pretty good. And then I'm just going to tap a little bit. And so this is what that third coat looks like. If you guys want to see a close up here. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and cure this under my LED lamp as well. For some reason it's looking a little uneven. So I'm going to just put a little bit more power here towards the center. Not sure whether it's looking a little uneven there. Okay, that looks better to me. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and cure this now. So that 60 seconds is up. I just realized I don't really need that cupcake liner. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and dust off the excess powder here. And for now, I am all done with this nail. So this is what it's looking like here. Coverage looks pretty good for three coats. That's a nice white. So with the excess here, what I love about using the cupcake liners is you don't, there's no waste. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour the powder right on back in here. And you really don't waste anything, which is really nice. So I'm gonna put the lid back on and put this to the side. So next I wanted to try to put some stars on this nail. So I was wanting to do this design I guess I'm gonna do all white nails I'm gonna do all white nails and then these two nails are gonna be uh, white nails with stars on them so I'm debating if I want to do like these transparent stars that are kind of iridescent and see-through or if I want to do like these pink and orange stars which are also iridescent Feeling like I like the pink and orange stars. I think I'm gonna just do orange stars on my nails. Like I said, I just painted my toes um, in like a neon orange color. So I'm thinking these orange stars would be pretty fitting. So I kind of want to show you all up close what the two different um, stars look like because it's kind of hard to see it from a distance. But I'm gonna try to bring this plate really close. Okay, so right here are the orange stars that I think I'm gonna go ahead and use. But these are my second option where they're kinda iridescent, kinda see-through. Okay, you can kinda see it really good right there. So you see how they're kinda that iridescent blue color, but they look almost clear. I kinda like the idea of it kinda looking like I don't have anything on my nails, but then when I move my nails, they kinda shift a little bit. But I think I'm gonna go for being seen. So I'm gonna go with the orange stars here. And to place them, I'm just gonna do another layer of my base coat on my nail. Apply a pretty generous layer. I kinda of want it to be a little bit thick so that the stars um, have something to kinda of hold on to. And another thing about doing a base coat on top of your dip powder is that it's gonna give your top coat something really nice to stick to as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up like so. As you can see here, I'm seeing a little bit of white on my brush, and I don't really want to put that back in the bottle, even though I've designated this bottle to like my dip, you know, gel polish or whatnot. I still don't want to um, mess up, uh, contaminate the bottle too much. So I'm actually going to go ahead and wipe the rest of this off on a paper towel here. I'm going to go ahead and take a little bit of the base, which I'm going to just take it straight from my nail and go ahead and use it to place the stars. You don't need much. So you just tap it and put it right on the star, put it right on the nail. So I think I'm gonna do three down the center, like so. 
and then kind of fill in those empty spaces on the side like that oh this is looking so pretty already i love it okay look at that you guys do you see this wow i'm liking the look okay i'm liking the look okay cool yeah i like that a lot wow okay yeah i don't even feel like i need to uh apply any more stars so that was three four five six stars that looks really good and the next thing i'm gonna do is i'm actually gonna go ahead and go in with the clear top coat i mean a clear base <laughs> And that's just to kind of fill in the space between the stars so that um, it's not too rigid of a nail, if that makes sense. I don't really want the, the surface to be raised. So I got my clear powder here from uh, Beatles, and I'm just going to go ahead and pour that over the rest of the nail to kind of, like I said, fill in the spaces of where the rest of that base powder was. Oh, you guys, I love it already. Wow. This is getting me excited to do my nails. Like, I can't even wait to take this set off I have now. Awesome sauce. I would take it off tonight, but my little one isn't trying to go to sleep today. She's just up and has all the energy in the world. And tomorrow, um, I got some events to go to. So, yeah, I don't really want to um, try to do my nails and not be able to finish them. You guys, this is looking beautiful. All right, I'm going to go ahead and cure this for 60 seconds. Yeah, this looks fantabulous. Look at this, you guys. Oh my God. Like, I'm loving the look of this already. I'm glad I chose the, the orange stars. So I'm gonna go ahead and dust off the excess. And so, yeah, overall the nail feels pretty even. So um, what I am gonna do now is uh, go in with my base. I think I'm done with the clear. If you want to, you can actually clear encapsulate this one more time. But I think I'm gonna go ahead and just do another layer of base and then top coat. And that'll kind of be how I clear encapsulate everything. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do another base coat here. And then a top coat. And I think we'll be all done, you all. This turned out beautiful. You know what's so cool about this nail art is I always have these visions of kind of what I want to do. Kind of like even with this design, I had a vision of it. And I just set everything out and just got to work and tried it out. And it turned out wonderful. And so I'm feeling like the same thing just happened with this. And I just so happened to be able to practice it first. But look at how beautiful that is. On your natural nail, you'll definitely want to cap the free edge. Um, not really a big deal to do here since, you know, it's a practice nail. But um, I'm going to go ahead and cure this. Okay, so I did the base coat. And then all I'm going to do now is top it off with my top coat here. And we will be all done. I'm super excited for this nail. One thing I like about using gel polish too as for dip powders is that gel polish is pretty forgiving and self-leveling. And so, you know, I was kind of worried about the texture a little bit on this nail. After I apply this top coat, all I'm going to do is turn the nail upside down for about 10 seconds. And that's going to allow the gel to just kind of like self-level, which I absolutely love that feature of gel because it makes it look like I'm no, I know what I'm doing, even though half the time I have no idea. So I'm going to turn this nail upside down. I'm going to turn it upside down for 10 seconds. And then once I flip it back over, the gel is going to be all level. So yeah, this is awesome. Boom, look at that. And then you want to clear it right away after you have it upside down, like so. Oh, you guys, it's so beautiful. I love it so much. Okay, <laughs> I'm so excited. This nail looks fantabulous. I'm absolutely here for this. Okay, look at the end result, you all. Is this nail just not absolutely gorgeous? Yeah, so this is how it turned out. I'm going to turn it to the side. You see, it's a nice smooth surface here. I used a no white top coat. So yeah, I'm absolutely loving how this looks. I am super excited to go ahead and do this on myself. So you all, um, I am going to do this exact design on myself next week. So if you want to see how I do this on my actual nails, 
go ahead and stick around. I'm going to be uploading that video next week. Um, I do upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Um, Thursdays in particular are my nail therapy Thursdays. So come back next week and watch me do this set on myself. Super excited to try this out. It turned out beautiful, exactly like I had envisioned. Super excited about that. Um, and yeah, if you all have any ideas for some designs that you want to see in the future or that you want me to test out, go ahead and leave that in the comments down below and I'll be happy to try to test it out here and also either test it on my finger on this little test finger here or test it out on myself um i really enjoy doing nail art and yeah as always i want you all to leave some love in the comments down below and i will see you in my next video i hope you all have a wonderful awesome spectacular day bye